What's up everybody, Dibs here, and the Christmas event for Overwatch is now here. There's tons of new things, there are new skins, two new decorated maps, a new brawl, as well as emotes, sprays, and tons of other things in the game. So first, let's go over the new skins. We will start off with the legendary ones. First off is going to be Zenyatta, which is called the Nutcracker. This is actually pretty... <laughs> I think it's one of the most... Um, crazy skins that they have come out with for the event and I really like the way that Blizzard is going on with this is because the fact that they can do whatever the heck they want with the game and um, they can do insane things and I really enjoy the fact that they are able to step out of their comfort zone and do stuff like this so if you want to take a look at the weapons it's literally <laughs> it's literally a nut <laughs> I honestly think it's hilarious I really like the way that they're doing this kind of stuff but yeah um, this is probably one of the most uh, fun skins in the game right now. So after Zenyatta, there's going to be another legendary skin, um, one for Winston, called Yeti. This one is also pretty good as well. This looks really beautiful. He's literally a Yeti, and he has these skulls for his booster packs. And um, these are what you normally find in the desert. You know, like the vulture skulls that you see all the time. It's very common in Blizzard games. And especially if you played World of Warcraft, you see these a lot everywhere. And let's take a look at the weapon. And this one's, yeah, <laughs> it's made out of wood here. And it's, I think this is, looks kind of like a, a leaf blower, right? Or something. It, looks, it has a lot of the Christmassy colors. And it's pretty cool, I think. I really like it. Next, of course, we have Tracer with the Jingle um, legendary skin. Obviously going to be the one that I want the most. And if you take a look at her weapon, this is what it looks like without the golden weapon. And with the golden weapon, it looks like this. It looks really smooth, and I can't wait to get this skin on Unlockables. So I'm probably going to you know, try to see if I can get it from loot boxes whenever I can. But if not, you're going to be able to buy them at the end of the, um, the event, of course. Next up, after Tracer, is going to be nobody else but Torb. As everybody has expected, it's going to be the Christmas Santa Claus uh, skin for, uh, <laughs> for freaking Torb. I think it's really hilarious because he has gifts and um, presents that he holds on his back. And then he has these two Christmas trees to act like his, uh, his tubes that he normally has. And yeah, if you take a look at his weapon, it's also pretty nice as well. And he also has an awesome hammer, but the main important part is of course his turret. It literally looks has, has reindeer heads. Or uh, these antlers and it has double or level two it has two turrets of course and it looks kind of the same a little bit but uh this looks really really cool it even has these little sled things at the bottom where it looks like you can just light it too bad you can't move it though i don't know why they have it there but anyway <laughs> and next up we have may which is the mary <laughs> it's mary's kid they're actually following the uh um the fact that everybody's making all these may jokes on how you play with the puns and that's actually pretty cool i like that i like that and this is her gun. Her gun looks pretty much the same as any other, um, the firefighter one and the rescue may. Or at least the, uh, the layout of the skin itself, right? Um, if you take a look at the adoptable one, that one's different. But uh, the main one has the base skin for firefighter and also rescue may. And that's about it for all the legendary skins. There are a few epic skins as well. And this one is Lucio's. Looks pretty frosty. I like it a lot. Um... I kind of wish that they allowed you to have different colors because light blue one does look pretty cool. But like if you had green or red, um, I don't know why they decided to go with teal or blue. But this one actually looks pretty cool though. I still like it. Gun looks like all the other ones. Nothing too special, but it looks pretty sick though. I like it. But the fact is though, if you have gold on these weapons, you can't really see the colors and the, you know, the extravagance of how they look like. But anyways, that's our Lucio is going to be a Farah. And this Pharaoh one is actually really nice. It's called Frostbite. And if you take a look closely, these minerals on her shoulders are from StarCraft. If any of you guys have played StarCraft before, um, literally this is what they look like. And it looks pretty cool. You have all these little... She has this kind of glow that comes around her. Pretty, pretty awesome if you think about it. And her, fire, her rocket launcher. <laughs> I like it as well. It's very, very sleek. Very, very nice. So I like what they've done with skins so far this uh, for Christmas. Um, it's very festive, obviously, and honestly, they just put a lot of detail into all that kind of skins, or all these skins. And this one's called Shiver for Reaper. Reaper has a heroic one. Very nice. You even have like this little glow on the cape where it's usually dark, but now he has like this ice 
um, coming out. You should actually, this goes very well with his line, it's in the refrigerator, because it looks like he's coming out of the freezer. <laughs> but yeah, you got this one too. His guns look like this. And next up, we have Sombra with her peppermint skin. Very nice. This is also a very vibrant skin as well. Check out her gun. Very candy-like, you can see. Nothing too crazy about Sombra, but uh, I do like his skin so far. Next up, we have the Izaria Frosted skin. There's really nothing too special about this one, except that she does have a pink gun. So for those of you who have been looking for a pink gun for Zarya, here it is. Finally, we also have Roadhog. Now, I kind of think we all saw Roadhog with the candy cane hook coming. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I mean, you don't really want to like get hooked by that thing. I mean, it looks really, really sweet and nice. But uh, of course, nowadays, everybody really wants to be afraid of this candy cane hook. But look at that. You can't be afraid of that. Come on, look at that. He even got a freaking reindeer nose on his belly. <laughs> honestly, this is, I th honestly think that this one is really, really funny. Um, it's kind of troll in my opinion, but I like the way that they did it with it. I like what they've done with it. Uh, here's his gun, red and green, very very festive as always. And of course the uh, candy cane hook it has H O G actually. It actually spells out hog. Very very attention to detail, like I said. Blizzard has done an amazing job this season. And lastly we have the McCree skin. It's called the Scrooge. And um, literally, he is the Scrooge. He is an old man with a pistol, so you better not piss him off. Definitely don't want to piss off a guy with a gun. <laughs> Especially if he's called Scrooge, right? And his layout of his gun is the epic one, kind of like the American one, which I do not have, of course. All right, so that's about it for all of the skins. There are a couple of emotes that came along with the new patch as well. And one of them was for McCree. So this is called Hat Trick. Pretty awesome if you think about it. All one emote. It's a very, very long emote. Literally takes three snowballs out and uh, just throws up in the air and he just blasts them. Pretty cool. It's only worth 752, which is actually pretty cheap. I, I also thought this was going to be a legendary one. Um, based on how long it is, pretty cheap. Next emote is going to be Maze, where she has a snowman that comes out of her uh, robot. Pretty cool as well. Obviously, very cute. <laughs> puts on glasses with it and then just explodes it. And then there's a Zarya one, where she literally has three different types of emotes that comes out. And you just gotta wait and see which one you get. <laughs> Apparently she's also a magician, where she can uh, take gifts out of gifts. And there's a robot one where she just, you know, just smashes it to bits. And then of course, the, uh, the cute cuddly one, where she just rips off its head. <laughs> But yeah, this one's also a 3000, a legendary one. So with this new seasonal patch, there were two new highlight intros that came with the game. And one of them is for Widowmaker. Obviously always going with her attitude of where uh, she doesn't give a crap about anything. <laughs> and the next one that we have is for Symmetra, which I think is probably one of the best ones in the game so far. And now lastly, there were also a couple of sprays as well as victory poses where it was mostly about getting toasts or toasting. And not everybody got the toast victory pose, only a few of them did. There was Anna, there was also Diva, where she has hers as well, where she wraps her, um, her robot in lights, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and then of course there's a Mercy one where it's not really a toast. This one is probably the only one where it's different compared to everybody else's. She has a mistletoe one. Um, I think it's actually pretty awesome. You always want to be under the mistletoe with Mercy, right? <laughs> and then there's Farah. She has one victory pose with just a toast as well. And Reinhardt definitely has a, a really good victory pose because his mug is ridiculously huge compared to everybody else's. And of course, he's ridiculously happy as well. And then there is Reaper or Soldier. Soldier has a victory pose. The, the, the dad toast <laughs> with his dad mug. And then Torb definitely has one, of course. Victory pose. Happy as always. As happy as he can be. Balancing on one foot as well. I think he should have been balancing on the other one. It would have been a lot funnier. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be about it for all the unlockables. There's a few sprays that you can get 
for the new brawl that they have. It's called the Snowhog, Snow May, Snow Reaper, and also Snow Cree. If you want to take a look at it, if you go into the arcade, there are two new brawls. One of them is May Snowball Offensive, which I'm going to make another video on, and also the Winter Mystery. So the Winter Mystery is pretty much a 6v6 random hero, and you play it on the two specific maps called Hanamuro and King's Row, but these two maps are a little bit different. So let's first go over King's Row. There's pretty much just snow everywhere and there's a lot of like, little tiny details that you have to pay attention to when trying to explore the map. There, it looks really really nice, everything is really sleek and there's pretty much just presents everywhere that you can't really open of course but then uh, there's also snowmen that you can attack. And uh, I just really like the fact and the festive feeling that they have in all these maps. If you take a look at the spawn area for the defenders, there's a lot of things on the wall, there's a lot of small things that you can take a look at, and it just feels very nice. They turn the last point for attack into a present making factory, which I think is pretty awesome. And overall, the lighting and the effects of the entire map is spectacular. Now one thing in King's Row is the Christmas tree at the spawn of the attackers. I think it's pretty cool, it's huge, and there's also presents underneath the tree for everybody. And also, the payload actually turns into a sleigh, which I think is pretty awesome. Now let's move on to Hanamura. You can pretty much expect the same type of festive feeling. There's a lot of snow everywhere and I like the fact that they changed the color tone of both of these maps. Normally it would be red in Hanamuro and also a little bit bright in the last part of uh, King's Row, but now you can see that it's a little bit different. At first off, I thought it would actually be a little bit harder to see, but when you actually get in-game, it's pretty beautiful. But yeah, that's going to be about it for this winter seasonal event. Hope you guys found this useful. Make sure you guys have a lot of fun, and make sure you guys also get all of the loot boxes. It's going to be really, really fun opening all these loot boxes that you can get. And um, it really helps that you can actually get them from the arcade as well. So make sure you do all of them and have fun with the May Snowball Offensive. But other than that, wish you guys a Merry Christmas and have fun. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.